Hello everyone, the time has come for a new weekly review video. In this video I would like to check how my trading plan uh, fulfilled throughout the last week. Uh, did we have any live signals posted based on it? And of course I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what are my, my future views regarding this plan. So let's get to it. What you see on the screens now is the uh, trading plan itself posted on TradingView. Uh, the plan was based on the US dollar against the Chinese Yuan. And I would like to say a few words about the whole idea behind the plan. So first of all, what I saw here is that the pair reached this weekly uh, resistance area. And uh, so far it was uh, going down from it. Uh, forming lower highs. At the same time, we had a very extensive uptrend before that, you can see it, uh, which seems to be uh, slowing down. So, uh, I took the chance to make this trend line, which represents the uptrend, and this small uh, trend line, which represents the current downtrend here. Now, first of all, we had a daily level of support, this uh, red line. So my expectations were if a break of this daily level of support occurs, plus uh, the perfect scenario break of the uptrend line, I would expect for the price to drop down to this first target price here. And this would have been our first sell zone and in the more long-term period we have a second sell zone with uh, second target price which is almost uh, where the uptrend started so let's see how uh, the plan developed as you can see we saw a break of the daily level of support here then a little bit of hesitation before a break of the uptrend line over here now this was my confirmation that the pair is ready to move further below, probably reaching the first target price. Uh, I posted a live sign out here, which we will discuss in a bit. But as you can see, uh, it dropped a little bit and after that uh, we saw a huge wave up, uh, which retraced the price back above this uh, daily level of support. Uh, so let's check the life signal I posted on this uh, plan and then we will talk about the future of the uh, trading plan itself. As you can see this is the H4 time frame and uh, here on at the end of this candle was our entry. Uh, after this hesitation here the price finally broke through the uptrend line so I expected a drop down and continuation of this downtrend. Uh, to reach our first target, uh, so I posted a live sign of entry here and our stop loss was placed over here uh, more than enough above this uh, da broken daily level of support which I expect to act as a resistance now. As you can see the price moved uh, in our favor for a while then uh, went back up, touched this level dropped a little bit down and then exploded up uh, getting to our stop loss very quickly here. Unfortunately uh, we didn't have luck. I don't think I made any uh, serious mistakes here. Let me open the MA which is further down so uh, this was not the issue. Let me open the Ichimoku indicator. As we can see uh, here, not only a break of the daily level support, but also of the trend line and also of the Ichimoku cloud, which confirms the downtrend. So I would consider this trade uh, just as being unlucky. And now I want to talk a little bit about the future of this trading plan. What I notice here is if you open the Bollinger Bands, we can see that uh, just here the price entered into a consolidation forming a square formation 
which was just broken with this candle. Now this candle failed to break this uh, daily level of support which I think still has uh, some power over the price. So uh, I would wait for a break of it and then entry with the expectations for the price to reach our first target. Again, I'll post a live sign on our Twitter profile. Here I don't expect for the price to return back inside of this uh, square, it just broke. So those are my future plans. That was the plan from last week. Uh, the unfortunate life signal. Just follow us for more and uh, we'll do better. We have a new plan this week, so check on that as well. Thank you very much and have a profitable week.